They are the result. This mess <laughs> is the result of <laughs> his policies. Am I right or am I right? I mean, it's just if. It's laughable, isn't it? So, oh, yes, it's the fault of, the, you know, the, those well-known uh, Republican mayors of San Francisco we've had the last oh. 10, 20 years, the, the, the famous Republican city council of San Francisco. It's such a joke. There's no-one else to blame except the Democrats. They've been in charge of the city, the county, the state for decades. So it's just preposterous. By the way, you say he was pressed on it. I mean, yes, you're right that Seth Meyers threw in the point that these are real problems. But that whole interview, I watched it last night. I was in San Diego. I got back late last night, watched the whole interview. I mean, it was just laughable. They talk about Fox News being state TV. That interview was rem reminded me of some journalist in Putin's Russia who's sort of sitting there deferentially talking to Putin, terrified that if he doesn't ask soft enough questions, he'll be thrown off the top of an apartment building in Moscow. <laughs> it is just ridiculous. They're not challenged. It's a total failure on every single indicator. San Francisco and California, they're the, we're the bottom of every list you want to be top of. We have the highest taxes, the worst poverty, the most spending on students in schools, but the lowest literacy, the highest housing costs, the lowest home ownership. Everywhere you look, we have the worst business climate of all 50 yeah. states, even worse than Puerto Rico. It was just announced the other week when you look at the data. Everything is going in the wrong direction. The Democrats are the ones who've been in charge. There is no one else to blame. Boom. I think we've nailed it right there. Our California guy always comes through. Steve Hilton, thank you very much. See you soon, I hope. Got it. Thank you, Stu.